Rag is a powerful paradigm that enhances the capabilities of large language models like GPT-4. At its core, Rag combines retrieval and augmentation. Retrieval is finding relevant information from external knowledge sources such as web pages, documents, and databases. Augmentation is about using the retrieved information to enhance the LLM's response. The retrieved additional context are then stuffed into prompt template. LLMs are incredible at generating text, but they have limitations mainly around hallucinations, which is fabricating information that sounds plausible but isn't true, or outdated knowledge, that is they don't know about events after their training data cutoff. RAG addresses these problems by connecting the LLM to a wider world of information, mitigating hallucinations by introducing factual context and overcoming knowledge cutoffs by incorporating up-to-date information. Here is how RAG works. The user asks a question and the system analyzes it to understand the intent. The relevant documents or snippets are then retrieved from an external knowledge source, say Wikipedia. The retrieved information is added to the LLM's context window along with the user's question. And finally, the retrieved augmented prompt is fed to the LLM. The LLM generates an answer leveraging the augmented context. So unlike traditional LLMs with static knowledge, RAG enables a dynamic interaction between models and external data. Your RAG system could pull data from internal documents, a public knowledge base like Wikipedia, or even real-time web searches. You might choose to use GPT-4, other open source models, or even develop your own custom LLMs. You could implement RAG as simple script, a microservice, or a complex distributed system, depending on your needs. Now, to efficiently retrieve information from documents, a common practice is to index them in a vector database using embedding vectors that capture semantic meaning. Now, I have spoken about vector databases in detail in my previous video already. Please do check it out if you haven't. There are three main core components to RAG. Knowledge base, retrieval mechanism, and LLMs. Knowledge base is your source of information such as documents, databases, etc. The retrieval mechanism is about how you find relevant information such as vector search, keyword search, etc. And LLM is the brains of the operation such as GPT-4. So in order to build a RAG system, you need to choose your knowledge base first. That is, you need to determine what sources you will use, whether they will be internal documents, web content, etc. And then you need to index your data. That is, you transform your knowledge base into a searchable format, for example, by creating vector embeddings for semantic search. And then you select a retrieval method. You consider factors like speed, accuracy, and complexity. Some of the popular retrieval methods are vector search, BM25, etc. And then finally, you integrate with an LLM. You use tools and libraries like LangChain to connect your LLM to the retrieval system. LangChain is a comprehensive platform for natural language processing. It plays a pivotal role in making RAG models accessible and efficient. Here is how LangChain fits into the RAG workflow. LangChain is a powerful framework for developing applications powered by LLMs, such as OpenAI or Hugging Face. It provides a standard interface for chains, enabling developers to create sequences of calls that go beyond a single LLM call. LangChain offers a wide array of document loaders that can fetch documents from various sources, including private S3 buckets and public websites. These documents can be of various types such as HTML, PDF, or even code. Let's understand everything with a simple code example. Here, the purpose of load.n is to load environment variables from .env file into your Python environment. So basically, the very first step is to load and process the Wikipedia page. The Wikipedia loader fetches the content of Wikipedia page about artificial intelligence. The character text splitter splits the loaded documents into smaller chunks for faster and optimal processing. OpenAI embeddings creates embeddings for each text document. FAISS builds a vector store from the embeddings for efficient similarity search. db.asretriever creates a retriever from the vector store. It will then find relevant documents based on similarity search when given a query. Retrieval QA from chain type sets up the chain that takes the query, uses the retriever to find relevant documents and then passes those documents and the query to the LLM to generate an answer. The user then provides a question about artificial intelligence. The QA.run query method 
finds relevant document chunks in the vector store based on the query's embedding. It passes the retrieved chunks and the query to the LLM. Now note that the LLM itself does not directly query the vector database. That task is handled by the retrieval component in the rack chain. The query is also passed to the LLM because it provides essential context for the LLM. It helps the LLM understand what the user is specifically asking and focus its attention so that the LLM generates an answer based on the provided context. And finally, the result is printed, which will be the LLM's answer to the question. This example shows how to load data in a simple way by using only one Wikipedia page. And I hope it gives you a clear and short version of the whole RAG workflow. This is a great way to try out RAG on a small scale if you are new to it.